going to do a review of the GSI Hikers uh, hand crank coffee grinder. I have not seen a uh, review of these, video review, or even just a regular review of these online uh, when I saw them advertised. Uh, I bought mine off Amazon for about, uh, I think it was about $13. Uh, so I went ahead and just bit the bullet and got one as much as I like coffee and stuff. And I've always been intrigued with hand grinders. Um, and I was looking for something to take out in, in the, when I go camping or anything like that. And since this is labeled as The Hiker, I figured, or, or I don't know if that's the official brand name of it, but it's uh, labeled as a backpacking or um, hiking, camping style hand grinder. And it works pretty good. There's a few things uh, I don't like about it that I'll address. But overall, for $12, you can't really go wrong with something like this. Uh, I'll go into the basics, how it works. One thing you'll notice if you get it, it comes in a very nice looking box, but there's no flipping instructions in there. So you're kind of having to go off of a whim, but it's pretty basic on the design. It's made of a, of a nice, I don't know if it's an acrylic style plastic or whatever. It's, it's clear, kind of looks like a UFO. Upside down, it's like a hat. Kind of like a puff. Uh, who knows? I'm going off again on a tangent. But uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty durable stuff. I wouldn't advocate going out and playing soccer with it or slamming it against a rock, but it seems like it's pretty durable, which is good. It's fairly compact. I mean, it's kind of round. It fits. I can grab hold of it with my hand and everything, but it wouldn't take up a whole lot of space. The handle, uh, you rotate the handle here. There's a little divot on the underside of it. You can lift it up so you can actually put it on the right way so you can actually start grinding, which is nice. It gets that out of the way and keeps it secure. Uh, it boasts a nice wide opening port to put in your coffee beans and it from the looks of it and from what I put in you can put in quite a few coffee beans about a quarter to a half a bag full of beans in there uh, and uh, it works uh, well you can get about three days of uh, coffee three or four days of coffee in there that you could just take with you as opposed to carrying an extra bag of beans so that's a nice feature as well it's got a plastic cap that you can take on and off to help keep the grains and stuff or the grounds out of your uh, rather bag and stuff. This is where the parts I don't like about it uh, is uh, it is hard to hold on to. There is no um, no holder to it. So when you're grinding, you're going to have to go and see, I got some grounds in there. You're going to have to hold it up like this and grind it into what you want to grind it into. Uh, or you can set it. It's kind of got different levels of uh, places where you can put on coffee cups or you can put on other uh, canteen or not canteens uh, uh, the uh, Lexon bottles or whatever you can put them on there and grind directly into there if you wanted to that's a neat feature but it's kinda hard as we'll find out here in a second and I'll give a demonstration how uh, you can't really hold on to it very well whenever you get it what I'm gonna do it's adjustable there's a uh, uh, you take this part off here and then you can adjust this little wing nut here <clears throat> excuse me to uh, adjust the uh, fineness of the grain or the grind and it does go uh, it does do pretty well on a Turkish grind which is pretty fine um, haven't had any problems with that and it does very well with a coarse grind for a, a coffee press so it does pretty good on the grinding side uh, I'll just put this on here I'm gonna go ahead and put some beans in and uh, go ahead and shut the gate here. Snap shut. It's secure. Uh, like I said, the good thing about it is you can put that rubber cap on, fold the uh, handle up, put it in your backpack, and it's good to go if it's full of beans. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this this out of the way. I'll grind a little bit so you can see the consistency ground on this paper. First, I think I've got this on about, oh, not a real fine grind, but it's going to be a good powdery grind. Not necessarily an espresso grind, but there we go. It could be about an espresso grind. It does a pretty good job uh, with the uh, grinding method and, and getting it nice and consistent. I'm going to go ahead and grind in my aerial press, which is a great piece of equipment. But as you can see, it moves around a lot if you're not steady or anything like that. You have to hold it like this. It's getting in the way. That's one of the things I'd like to see them change. That if they had like some sort of clamp or something that you could clamp onto something, or some sort of uh, collecting uh, tray or piece at the bottom, it would work so much better. Uh, one thing, if you've never used a coffee hand grinder, you know right away is it takes a long time to grind even a small amount, especially if it's a finer grind like an espresso grind or a filter grind. 
Uh, I've been grinding now for a little bit, and as we look, there's not a whole lot in there to uh, to account for. But hey, if you're out camping, you don't have a whole lot of other things to do. Uh, grinding coffee is kind of one of those uh, perks you get to. Like I said, uh, some of those features I don't really like about it. Uh, it's also pretty heavy. And it's not like it weighs a whole bunch. I don't know how much it weighs, but it is pretty hefty for those of you who are, uh, you know, doing the hiking thing and, and uh, are concerned about issues of adding any type of extra weight to your pack or whatever. This could be an issue. Uh, all Overall, though, for 12 13 under 15 bucks. Really not a bad grinder. It does a good job. It's pretty durable. It's a ceramic burr uh, grinding wheel in the inside there. Uh, you can just take a rag and wipe it off when it's done. I've never gotten into the disassembly or anything of it since I, I've just received it not too long ago, but I've uh, used it quite a bit to grind stuff, and it does a pretty good job uh, of grinding. I don't... Uh, I'd much rather use a different grinder, such as, uh, say, this excellent one that I'll review in another post but overall uh, I got nothing but good to say about the uh, the uh, GSI backpacking uh, style grinder so if you're wanting a good grinder to take with you to work or whatever or put in your pack just to have uh, you can use it for other spices peppercorns and whatnot as well uh, it would do fine with that go ahead and do it at 12 13 bucks can't go wrong it'll it'll last you for a long time so good product in my my thing or in my eyes I uh, hope this helps you out